With her girl next door image, Nolene Batley became the first female hit maker of the decade with Barefoot Boy in 1960. Wrapped up in each other's arms, we'll say. There's a rainbow around my shoulder and a sky of blue bow, and I'm shining so. Frankie Davidson, multi-talented and one of the fun makers of the era. Around my shoulder and it fits me like a glove. Let it blow a storm out of your own desire. Young Talent Times' Johnny Young wrote the number one selling single for 69, The Real Thing, produced by Ian Molly Meldrum and recorded by Russell Morris. had a string of seven national hit releases. Had some trouble with my sweetheart for one of her brothers who's a bad outlaw. Everyone wanted to record a hit. Nearly all the top DJs of the day tried. John Law succeeded. Brisbane boy Tony Worsley breezed through the middle 60s with two hits and found himself supporting top overseas acts. Rusty Wiley set out to become a star and did just that. Australian music stars of the 60s, one man eclipsed all. You know you make my wanna shoot. During the 60s, Johnny O'Keefe achieved a record 18 national hits, including five number ones. He received a greater spread of publicity than any other artist. Performer extraordinaire, television host, record producer, talent manager, and the hardest working act the country had ever seen. His tireless energy and control of audiences knew no bounds. here from the stage, I'd like to tell you that you all look like a beautiful garden of roses. I'll go through a few weeds out of here.
At 6 o'clock every Saturday night, the nation practically stood still for O'Keefe's first television show, 6 O'Clock Rock. It went on to host the Johnny O'Keefe Show and sing, sing, sing. Well, if you want to be a happy, sing a happy song. Come on, a sing. I remember the first egg that hit me. I had an orange uh, velvet suit with black uh, well, I remember around the lapels and then uh, encrusted with diamonds. Oh, yeah, a pair fresh. of shoes with uh, jewels in the heels and capes and all the full gear, you know. But the first time an egg hit me, I didn't know what to do. And I, I, I stopped at this particular night by saying, you may boo me, as they did when I first went on to the stadium, or you may uh, throw things at me, but you all pay your money to come and see me because you all love me. <laughs> this is vintage Johnny O'Keefe at his peak, supported by his original backing group, the DJs, and the Deltons. <laughs> Johnny O'Keefe had survived the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but the 80s were not to be his. The legend John Michael O'Keefe passed away 6th of October 1978, but his memory and legacy to Australian music of the 60s lives on. They said it wouldn't last. You've got to live for today. You can't live in the past. Those good times won't come round again. They were fun in many ways. But one thing for sure, my friend, we shared some happy days. I can still remember when I bought my first guitar. Remember just how good the feeling was. Put it proudly in my car. And my family listened 50 times to my two song repertoire. And I told my mom her only son was gonna be a star. Bought all the beating records. Sounded just like Paul Bought all the old Chuck Berry's 78s and all And I sat by my record playing Playing every note they played And I watched them all on TV Making every move they made 